you need to click on this green button, specifically on the arrow to the right. We go into this folder and here we select the installer depending on your version of Revit. Let's create a few parameters. And let's fill in the comment parameter. I'll say test 1 here and here I'll say test 2. What I need to do is go to the Data Drift Construction tab and click the Revit to Excel button. Here is all the information about the objects inside the Revit file. Here we see that we have a parameter with a string value. Let's change them. Test 1, 2, and here test 2, 2. Our unconnected height is 4000 m and m. Here I'll say 500, and I will create my own parameter. The plugin can create parameters. We'll save the table, close it, and now let's refresh the page. Let's select the wall. We can see that a new parameter has appeared and its value has been set. Hello everyone, today we will look at how to work with a plugin for importing data from an Excel table into a Revit file with parameter updates within that file. So the first thing we need to look at is how to download the plugin, where to find it, and how to install it. You can find it at this link, which will be attached to the video. This is our repository on GitHub. Here we have a description of the work, the plugin, and there's also a website you can visit and check out. There's a lot of additional interesting stuff on the website. Here we have an Excel converter and a plugin for Excel that we will also be working with today. So read it, take a look. Next, how to download the plugin. You need to click on this green button, specifically on the arrow to the right, and then select Download Archive. I have already downloaded and unpacked the archive in advance. Here's the archive. Let's go into it. Here we have a license file that contains detailed and comprehensive information and a file with instructions for our plugin. We open it, read what is written here, it describes the working principle, how to use the plugin, and more. But now in the video, we will look at the principles of how the plugin works. Next, how to install the plugin. We go into this folder, and here we select the installer depending on your version of Revit. The plugin is currently available only for these versions. If you have version 22, install 22, and for 23, install 23 accordingly. And let's go directly into Revit, and I'll open it right now. Let's see what we can do with it. I have a pre-prepared file, and to demonstrate how our plugin works, let's create a few parameters, both for test 1 and test 2 in the results of the experiments conducted in the laboratory, which were meticulously analyzed, no matter the size of the task at hand. And let's fill in the comment parameter. I'll say test 1 here, and here I'll say test 2. We see that the unconnected height is approximately around 4000 mm. And what needs to be done? First, you need to save the file. I will save it now. I will carefully and thoroughly choose the path. I will save it directly in the folder and name the file test2 precisely. I will save it like this and then I need to open Excel. I launch Excel and now in Excel I already have a pre-installed plugin for Excel that allows converting data from Revit files. You can find this plugin on this website. What I need to do is go to the Data Drift Construction tab and click the Revit to Excel button. Here, I already have our folder open. I select our file, choose Open to the system for processing. All right, and then everything has now been processed. Now, as you can see, our file has been successfully transformed into a tabular format, and clearly in a way that is easy to understand and interpret. Here is all the information about the objects inside the Revit file. One moment. You can close this book because the automatic plugin creates a DDC folder next to your file where it generates an Excel file and a small file with a 3D representation of your scene. Additionally, this plugin further assists in organizing your data efficiently, elaborating on the Excel file and the 3D representation in more detail. And let's go ahead and open this table. You can edit that table or this one, but I prefer not to save over it, just to edit this table. Now let's switch to Revit and take a look. This is our wall. It has this kind of ID, identification number, and let's move on to the next step. I'll scroll to the very bottom. And here we found this row, well, the second one accordingly. Now, for convenience, I will delete all the other rows in the table because they will not affect the course of our work. And we will work with only two lines. I can delete this line too. Now, let's find our parameter that we filled in. Control F test 1. Here it is. Found it. 
Here we see that we have a parameter with a string value and the parameters of our two walls are filled in. Let's change them. Test one, two, and here test two, two. I will save the table naturally with changes in it. Now I will move on. After you have installed the plugin, you should see an import DDC Excel button in the add-ins tab. Let's click it. The plugin prompts us to select a table, so we select our table. And what do we see? The plugin says that our table is open in some other application and asks us to close this table. This is indeed a specific feature of Excel. It does not allow working with Excel tables if they are open in Excel itself. Let's close our table. Here I will click close. The plugin prompts us to select a table. We accordingly select our table. You can choose any other one as long as it meets the necessary requirements of the open game and the plugin worked. Game's close. We have a log file for the game. It has been created. We can close it too. And let's take a look. We see that the comment has changed. Here the comment has also changed. Let me open our table again and let's change something else. Let's find our height. Our unconnected height is 4000 mm. And m. Here I'll say 500. Here I'll say let's make it 10000. And we'll find our comment. And here I will create another comment. And I will create my own parameter. The plugin can create parameters. How is this done? We need to give the parameter a name and it must start with new underscore and it should not match the name of any other parameter. So let's say comments one and the parameter value should be a string, meaning it is not a numerical value. The plugin currently works only this way. In the near future, the capability to input various other types of data will eventually be incorporated. And the separation between the parameter type and the parameter name must be specifically in the form of a colon, with spaces clearly on either side of the colon, precisely. I created a parameter and let me enter the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A here. And in the second parameter where the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, B, I will save the table, close it. And now let's refresh the page. In addition, we can see that the following modifications have occurred. Let's select the wall. We can see that a new parameter has appeared and its value has been set. That's how the plugin works. Thank you for your attention.